Good morning everyone. Welcome back. And as you can see, I, uh, I'm pulling the old one out. April 15th, I've got the clearance to uh, start boating. And I'm, I plan on doing that for sure. Waiting on my buddy Brian to show up. This is our annual springtime uh, Nakusa Wisconsin River fish. So really looking forward to that. It's a beautiful, beautiful spring morning. The, the, the turkeys are gobbling back somewhere near Dog Park. It's just a, it's a great morning. It's going to be really nice. The rest of the week might be kind of crappy, so this might be my only opportunity. So uh, waiting for Brian to show up. Lens gassed up. Just changed the lower unit oil last night, put new plugs in the 30 horse. And uh, we're looking good. We'll see you when Brian gets here. Okay, we are on the road. We're following a little bit of a craft up there. That was a little tiller boat. I don't know if we're going to follow him all the way to the Kusa or if he's going over to the Pete. I don't know. But my buddy Brian has shown up. Good morning. Morning. How was your drive? Fantastic. No worries. Everything went just fine. Nice. Yeah, you're five minutes early. Yeah, pretty punctual. Okay. You saw some turkeys? Saw a flock of turkeys, and uh, that's basically about it on the way up. Yep. A lot of guys turkey hunting, going crazy over those birds. We're walleye fishing. Yeah, we might run into some white bass today too, but I guess Brian doesn't want any white bass. He wants walleye. Is that correct? That is correct, yep. Okay. Well, we got a little bit of a drive to Nakusa. We'll see you when we get to the landing. Beauty day, I tell you. Beauty day. The river looks beautiful. Flat calm. We've never had it this calm before. Right? A lot of people like current. We're good here. We are in position. First spot. 8.15. We're going to give this a little time before we go explore a little bit. Do you got a fish on? Fish on. What the hell? You need the net? You gonna lift it? Yeah, I got the net right here. We are on the board right when I was doing the intro. Way to go, man. Thank you. Skunk's off. Kind of a short, but that's okay. Yep. Skunk's off, brother. Let's get some more. Might have something tap in here. I'll see. Yeah, there's a fish on there. Okay. I can net him. You don't have to worry about it. Got a fish on, huh? Yeah. This is my go. dead. This is my dead stick, by the way. Okay. Oyster, he though. He doesn't feel. He doesn't feel real large. No. See him though. On the board. I'd like to see him. <laughs> Getting closer. It is. On the board, right? Yeah, yeah man. That's all that matters. You're on the board. So far there's That's no reason to leave the spot. You want to know something? That's there's, pretty close. There's no reason to leave no, the spot. Absolutely not. It's getting closer, but it's not even. Nice job. Yeah. Right. Yep, that was dead sticking. Brian's got one net. I got it. I still want to see it. Brian just picked up another shorty. We were just talking about moving, so now we got to stay a little bit. You think or no? You know what I think we should do? Let's see it. Really small. Okay, that's all right. At least it's a fish. Let him go. Let him grow. I think we should go a little shallower right now. See, this one I just cast it 
way out. This is the one I Which got way? Fight, out there. Did you? Yeah. Uh, we can give her some time. Let's give her a little bit of time. I said 10 minutes before. Can't move now. That was on this side of the boat. So I'm wondering if with the current blowing at that point, oh, there's the neck. Can you do it? Yeah, I think so. Just a sixteenth or so off. Yep. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah. So now we can't move again. Oh. We can't move, can we? That was, the way it hit, just hit like a wall, I suppose, you know. Are you are you retrieving it or did you wait for the bump? What's that? Are you retrieving it or did you wait for a dead sticking? Yep, dead sticking. With a lead head jig? Yep. Okay. Brian, it's the Brian show. You need a net? Oh, it looks like it. What's it look like? Let's see him before you get. Oh, did you throw him? Yeah, I did. Okay. My bad. That's okay. Sorry. No, that's all right. This was a dead stick red hook. Red hook? Yeah, but I can get it out there. Here, I got. I can get them good. I got a forceps. I got one here too. There we nice go. job. Nice job. Okay. How's it feel? Need the net? No. It's a big walleye. I don't know. Tell me it's a big walleye. Where are you going to bring it? That pole's going to be in the way, right? That pole in the way doesn't have to do. Here, I'll put it in the pole of rod holder. Is it a cab, you think? I don't know. Flyers, if you want. It's out. Okay. 
Then you can here. Let's show it to me before we put them in. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a catfish today, everybody. You're always hoping for a good walleye. Oh, I know it. All right. Hold on, man. Come on, bro. All right. Nice job. In you go. Ryan's hooked up again. Think you can flip him? Seems like he's a flipper. He's a flipper? Show him to me before you release him. looking for it. No. <laughs> How's it feel? Can you flip it? Flipper? Better? production here. Whenever you're ready, give me a look. He's milking all over you. All right, man. At least you're producing. You're out fishing yeah. me. Way to go. Way to go. Another small one, but... Let's get a keeper. What do you say? That'd be nice. There we go. This feels pretty good. That's a good one. That's a keeper. That's got to be. Yeah. That's going to be close. That one, that, one, that one pretty much ate it, too. Yeah. Look at that. That's a. That's pretty close. Nice work. Nice work, bro. Nice work. That one's going to be pretty close. Yeah, Maybe. Okay. Hey, you know what I did? I set that pole down. I was, I was doing like you. It's not a keeper. Getting closer though. You're gonna work the box, plus a catch, and you get all sorts of food. Yeah. This rod was just tapping. I'm going to check the bait on it. The other dead stick was tapping. I think that's the way to go. He was playing with it and I started like bringing it in like a Lindy rig. He's a flipper. Keeper? Flipper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the hook set up with just a sinker. You know what I'm doing? I, I'm Lindy. I, sometimes when I see the tap, then I start retrieving it really slow. Mm -hmm. Like I'm dragging a Lindy rig. Okay, we're gonna move and go have some lunch. We got a got a couple ideas. Um, got a spot picked out. We're gonna make a move, have lunch, see what we can do. How's that sound, Brian? Sounds great. And this guy coming in, waiting for us to leave. <laughs> We're heading that away. But 
first one over here. Yeah, at least yeah, we know there's at least we know there's fish here. Flipped it. See how I flipped it? Yep. Nice work. I was just getting ready to stick my dick in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> And I gotta fix my mess. Anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Should we not move? Need help? I don't know. I don't think so, but. I don't think so. I don't know. It's close. I need to suffer the net over it. Yeah. Just the power. Ah. Not there, is it? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, I guess. Yep. I don't know. I'm still not that excited about this spot. Wherever you want. Are you? Here. Nice job, man. <laughs> nice job. One. Yeah. Okay, we had lunch. Caught a couple of fish in our lunch spot. Kind of had some grouchy neighbors. It was kind of a bad scene. I didn't like the neighborhood. What did you think of the neighborhood, bro? Not good. They were yelling at boats, and nobody yelled at us, but I it just didn't like to, it. It was time to move out of there. Yeah, this is our original spot, and I just lost a fish turning the camera on. So far, I lost a really good one messing with the camera, and I just lost another one. So that's YouTube for you. I don't know. Quarter after one. We still got some time left. We've caught some fish today. Got a couple in the live well. Bra, any other uh, thoughts? No, I think things have just been really. It's been a wonderful day. The weather's perfect. Yeah. It's just nice to be out on the water. Right on, man. Let's get some more, though, huh? Yep. I'm not sure. You barking? Oh yeah, they're marking all the time. Like they do with wicked tuna. We're marking one. We're marking them. I just I just got robbed. And then ten seconds later they get one. I was just robbed. Really? Okay, it is going on three o'clock. And this is our last spot. We're gonna probably fish till maybe 3.30, 3.15 for sure. It is ten to three. It's our last straw right here. We've had a pretty good day. A couple in the box still. That's what we got. We got a cat and one walleye. And uh, we're going to see if we can get any more. Brian up there. Concentrating. Yeah, peace, man. See what we can do here. Well, I was just doing some desperation jigging with this Northland tackle kind of a jig and wrap thing and I uh, gotta be careful these things start thrashing and you got a jig and wrap in your hand then Brian's taking me to rapids right Brian yep this pretty nice striper just hit that jig and wrap so he's going in the live well with the other total talk about a mixed bag cat walleye white bass Brian? Mixed bag. Excellent. Okay. Surprised you, didn't it? It did. <laughs> Surprised me, too. It did. How was it? I didn't think I'd catch Sarah Trap was trappy or whatever was right. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Good advice. I'm going to finish this hams, and we're calling her a day, guys. It's been a, it's been a good fish. Brian and I, we're getting sort of good at this, but we're in our low 60s. We've got a few years to That's figure right. this out, don't we? That's right. I think next time you see Brian and uh, the old scout, we're going to hit the peat. This river thing's kind of confusing. Um, what do you think, Brian? Hit the peat? I think so, yeah. Okay. We're going to put this sucker on the trailer. We'll see you guys at the cabin. Brian, thanks for joining me today. Absolutely. It's been wonderful. It's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely a work in progress, this river, but uh, we didn't get skunked. No, we didn't. See you guys at the cabin. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, Brian had to take off, so he's on the road right now, heading back home. We had a great day out on the water. Um, I've got a cat, a walleye, and a white bass to clean up, so I'm happy with that. Put a little fish in the freezer, 
Um, gonna unpack the Lund here, get it all taken care of. I'm not sure if I'm fishing anymore this week or not. We got some bad weather coming in. It's just gonna be hit and miss. We'll have to see. I'm gonna clean those fish up, put the Lund away, and uh, it's pizza night tonight. So I'm going to put a pizza on the pizzazz, so uh, we'll see you in the cabin for that. Beauty afternoon, man. It was just super day out. It had to have been in the 70s, or close to 70 out on the river today. Just a gorgeous day, so. Very happy with that. Great day. I had a great time with Brian. I really appreciate him driving up for a day of fishing. Uh, he had the green light to stay, but uh, got some nasty weather moving in, so he, he's going to head around home. See you in the cabin for pizza night. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Boat's all cleaned up. I'm loving it. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. The old... Uh, the old Lund Scout is going to go in tomorrow for a possible repower. If these guys work with me, if they deal with me, the 16 foot beauty is going to have a brand new Mercury 40 horse four stroker on it. Now this uh, this is rated for a 45 so the 40 Merc should be no problem. The Johnson is running super. There's not a darn thing wrong with it. Um, I can afford a new four-stroke. I was either I was debating new boat or new motor, and at this time I'm going to just put a new motor on it because the Scout fishes really well yet. For the most part, it's just me. It's easy to handle. I enjoy the hell out of it. So uh, if these guys are willing to deal, say goodbye to this Johnson. It's been a damn good motor. All I've done is put a water pump in it and come to find out I didn't even need to do that. It was clogged with mud. Just changed the lower unit in it. Just put some plugs in. Started right up. Ran beautifully today. Idle's great. I use AMS oil in it, which I highly recommend in the two strokers. Wish me luck. We're going motor shopping in the morning. Okay, you guys. I'm going to put this lots of matzo on the pizza daddy. This is a four meat lots of matzo. And I am going to add shrimp and lots of crushed red peppers because I don't really have to do a whole hell of a lot tomorrow. I like my pizza hot. Lots of matzo, crushed reds, shrimp. We'll see you on the pizzazz. We are underway. Shrimp, crushed reds are added. I do the lower only for eight minutes. That gives me a good crispy crust. Looking very good. Love how the pizzazz or the pizza data Daddy cooks these babies. Looking very good. Alright, it is in cool down mode. It's looking wonderful and it looks super freaking bubbly hot. I'm going to let this cool down, cut it up, and watch a little YouTube while I'm eating tonight at the cabin. Stay tuned. A great day on the river. Great time with a good friend. I'm going to enjoy this pizza. You know what I'm matching it up with, pairing it up with. But I'm going to wa also watch Eric and Zach's outdoors. And I see Zach sporting a Pete and Will posse hat tonight as well as Eric. Guys, if you want to watch a channel where they flat out catch fish, flat out harvest deer, just good outdoorsmen, father son team, check out Eric and Zach. Good, good dudes. We'll be seeing them soon. We're going to have a Pete and Walt Posse rendezvous at the cabin here in the near future. Check out Eric and Zach's. 
I'm going to enjoy this wonderful pizza, have a brew, and watch the show. Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Eric and Zach's Outdoors. We're out with Eric on Lake Mendota. We're going to do some cat fishing here this These season. These boys are going to catch some big cats. Check them out. It's April, it's cat fishing season. Yep. So you guys stay tuned. Zach's ready to hook up on a 20 pounder this year. Eric and Zach's Outdoors, coming to you from Lake Mendota. Go get them, Zach. Kick ass. Hey, good morning, guys. Too windy to fish today. We've got wind gusts over 30 miles an hour, and it's going to storm later on, so uh, no fishing today. I'm just doing a few chores here at the cabin, taking care of a little bit of this and that. But I wanted to send uh, wanted to send a shout out and some props to my buddy James from Florida. He very graciously sent me this beautiful pen reel. It's a Spin Fisher Four. It's a completely sealed reel, all steel construction. They use them a lot for saltwater fishing down in Florida in the Gulf and that. But I used it yesterday out in the boat. I didn't get my personal best, but it's coming. It worked flawlessly. I've got Suffolk 832 on it with 10-pound um, uh, fluorocarbon leader. It worked excellent. Uh, this is the best quality spinning reel I've ever owned, so I matched it up with a St. Croix Icon. Graphite pole, it's a uh, 6.3 medium, extra fast. And uh, I had some fun catching fish with it yesterday. I lost a real good one jigging over the boat, trying to turn the camera on. It happens all the time. I'm trying to get the shot for you guys. Um, but uh, future looks bright for the spinning reel this summer. So I'm going to do a few chores. I don't know what I'll, when I'll turn this baby back on again. It might be for burgers tonight, having cheeseburgers. Hopefully I can grill them. Step out of the wind. If not, I'll, uh, I'll pan fry, but it is nasty. And I'm going to get Moxie in the garage here and shut these garage doors and uh, move on to a different area for projects. So. We'll see you next time I turn this sucker on. I wish I could say beauty day. I can't though. Okay you guys, fast forward one day. We had just an unbelievably stormy night last night. Wasn't much really to film in the cabin other than me just sitting there watching it storm, hoping we weren't going to get a tornado. Had dinner, cruised the net a little bit, uh, watched some TV and then hit the bunk and did some reading. So today I'm just doing some chores around the cabin site. There's always something to do when you have some acreage up north, for sure. I tucked Moxie away before the storms came last night. As you guys can probably notice, there's no London here. That's going to be for another video, and I think you guys are going to like it. I know I'm going to. So, I acquired this... Uh, Old Yard Machines tractor from the Peets years ago. And uh, thought I'd give it an oil change today. It's got a real slick system where you just kind of open a petcock up and drain it with, from this tube down below. I've had snow blowers, and I know there's some people that uh, don't have these tubes and it just leaks all over the tractor. So this yard machine, is, it's been a good machine. Uh, it deserves an oil change. It's going to get one. It is getting one. Oil transfusion. So yeah, I'm going to get that ready. Just did some other chores. I've got a lot of cleanup to do. Still don't have complete uh, go-ahead to do any heavy chainsaw or anything. So that'll come. Cabin's not in too bad a shape, but there is a lot of chores to do yet, so 
I don't know, this video is kind of winding down. Maybe I'll show you dinner tonight. I think it's going to be chili dogs. So I know this isn't uh, the meat and potato channel, but you're going to see how I, I eat when I'm alone and I'm misbehaving. Uh, believe me, I don't always eat like this. My honey makes sure I get a nice healthy diet and I appreciate that from her. Okay, not much else going on. I'm going to get ready to wrap this up, head home, and I'll be back soon. And when I do, I'll turn the camera back on. But, uh, yeah. Sometimes it's good just to have a lazy little week at the cabin. Do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. Okay, you guys, I just lit the Weber. With all this rain and whatnot, it's safe to do so. I'd mentioned before, this uh, earlier this afternoon, that I was going to do some chili dogs tonight. It's actually kind of like uh, my own little version of the chili dog this evening. I'm cleaning out some stuff out of the fridge. tell you what I'm going to do. For the chili, I love these to buy these little packets. Um, this is Madras lentils. It's got red beans and spices simmered in a creamy tomato sauce and lentils. It's really a good alternative to chili and it's excellent on the, on the I'm calling them dogs. They're actually little Polish sausages. So I've got the the chili, diced up some onions, and like I say, I'm cleaning out the fridge, so I'm going to use a pita. You, you know I just did uh, some gyro omelets. I had gyro meat because I was eating some gyro, so I had one pita left. I'm going to put that in a pan and brown it up a little bit, and uh, I'm going to grill those on the Weber. I'm going to split them down the middle, lay them on the pita, Dump the chili on them, the onions, I've got some cheese cut up over there, a little hot sauce, and boom. I'm looking forward to this. I think you might like this. Okay, I'm going to get things underway here. Got the pan heated up with a little bit of olive oil in it. There's pita in here. Top up some of that olive oil. If any of you guys ever gone to like the Parthenon in Madison or in a lot of the Greek fast food or restaurants and watch them make a gyro, they always they always heat up that pita like that. So we're gonna just uh, brown this a little bit on each side. And the dogs are gonna be sliced. Set across there, chili's gonna go on top of them, onions, and then cheese. So we are underway. Sausages are on. I'm using the old Weber kettle, my favorite grill ever produced. And Blair, if you notice, I've got some pretty good clean racks there. This is way easier to clean than that uh, the Weber Q I got at home. So uh, let's cook these up and get them in the house for the next process. Okay guys, the sausages are off the grill. It's time to build this. Now this, uh, the Madras lentils, what I'm using for chili, you can just microwave that in the bag for 90 seconds. It's going on. Yeah, baby. Smother them. Smother them. Right on. Time for some onions. I had some 
Guys, I weren't crazy about onions on the omelets. I don't know how you feel about onions on the chili dogs. I like them. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> now before the cheese, hot sauce. Mmm, baby, come on! Alright. Whoops, there goes a spatula on the floor. I'm going to try to keep talking so I don't get copyright here with my tunes in the background, but if I do, I'm not too worried about it. Listening to, uh, listen to Cricket on 103.3 WGLX out of the Rapids. You guys got to check her out. She's the best DJ, I think, in Wisconsin. Cricket. WGLX. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be cheesy. I know. I know. It doesn't look like anything like a chili dog, right? It's just a chili dog creation. I'm gonna go nuke this a little bit to melt the cheese, and I'll show you the finished product. There we go, guys. There she is. I don't know what the hell this is. There, there are some, uh, there's sausages under there, there's a chili concoction over it, cheese, onions. Throwing you a curveball today, that's what I'm pairing that up with tonight. I don't know, maybe you leave in the comments what you would call this. There's Polish sausage on a pita with chili, with cheese, with onion. Let me give a plug out to the, uh, Wood Candle Company, an excellent scent, the Evergreen. He's got, Tyler has got a lot of different uh, candles out, check them out. The Wood Candle Company. Guys, that's going to be a wrap. I'm going to chow this down, pack her up it tomorrow, head back home. I'm actually going to go uh, babysit my little grandson tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that very much. And uh, until we meet again, uh, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.